guys, or well, it's not the morning actually, it's the afternoon, but um, we are making cider today, or well, we're going to attempt to make some cider. We've picked all these apples off our tree, um, and we bought a kit, and we bought an apple press, and we're going to give it a go. This is probably one two hundredth of the apples that we could pick right now, um, so yeah, we thought we'd give it a go, because we can't really go wrong, and they're just falling to the ground anyway. saw there was us actually making cider two times the first time no apple juice would come out of the press we realized that you had to cut down the apples really 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 small and then today we're making apple cider again um, but we actually bought an attachment which is like a meat grinder attachment um, for the KitchenAid that works really well actually and it grinds up the apple so so much that we practically juiced it and then we put it through the press um, and so that's when you saw it like flowing out like mad yeah now it's working really really well but just so you know in case you're going to try and make apple cider yourself um, yeah you need to cut it really really small the piece of apple otherwise it just doesn't work it felt impossible to press it yesterday wow it's going like mad mum is like whoa yeah, it's use those muscles so the way uh, the sun's gone in now so i can talk to you a little bit more so the way you, you make cider at least this is the way we read how to make it we've never made it before but we have brewed beer and we've made elderflower champagne is that you uh, break up the apples really small we used a meat grinder slash vegetable grinder thing um and then you put them in the apple press you press it all down you sterilize everything by the way as well um and wash the apples and then you press it all down until it's kind of like juiced into this bucket, which has also been sterilized. Add your yeast, leave it for how many days? Four to eight. Four to eight days. Um, you, you measure, um, measure it, the alcohol, you measure the sugar content or something beforehand and afterwards, and then you can work out how alcoholic it is. I don't know if it's the sugar content, but you use some measurement thing. Um, I'll ask Ryan. Ryan, what do you measure? Sugar content. Oh, it is the sugar content. Oh, I didn't realise he's there in the background. He's writing that down on the barrel. Um, so, or, it's not really a barrel, is it? It's more like a plastic bin thing. He's writing it down now so that after it's fermented, we can measure it again and we can work out how alcoholic it is. Hopefully it's quite strong. Um, the sugar content is really high, which I, we were a bit surprised about because we know apples are really sugary, but sometimes people add sugar to it. So you expected it not to be that high, but it is. But that's a good thing. That turns into alcohol, I think. Anyway, you can tell I don't know what I'm on about, really. Anyway, um, yeah, you leave it to ferment for a few days, well, four to eight days, check what it's like, then you siphon it out into bottles, which is when yeah, you make it flow into your bottles, and then, bam, sorted. We've got bottles from when we did beer, I think, so we'll probably use those uh, if we can find them. Uh, you sterilise the bottles, too. And then, bam, good to go. It is a bit cloudier than we thought it'd be, and I think you could filter it out if you wanted to, but we're okay with that. We quite like cloudy apple juice. You can actually add sulfites to it to make it last longer, and I think it's mostly, to be honest, to make it look great. It reduces the risk of bad bacteria forming during the brewing process as well. Did you hear that? Well, sulfites do. Yes. There we go. But we don't want to add sulfites. Ryan, we're pretty sure, is allergic to those. Um, or not allergic to them, but has a... Oh, do you know... Is that Gina or Wilma? Wilma doing, doing a poo. poo. I've got to go. But basically that's what we've been doing today. So cider has been made um, and I just wanted to interrupt the vlog and say yes, our clothing has changed for a third time. Um, that's because, well, it's the same day, but oh my God, it was so messy. It was such a messy job. I had apple juice all down me and it wasn't from the actual cider uh, press. It was from um, grinding the apples up at the beginning because sometimes the juice would just like explode in my face. So, side is done. Um, the rest of the day isn't that exciting, but I'm going to document it anyway because some of you guys said that you actually just like a day in the life rather than 
drone shots and stuff, which is fine by me. Um, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit and show you actually my day-to-day -day life, which today isn't that exciting because, well, we're cleaning, basically. Um, we have Ryan's family coming over tomorrow, so we need to get the beds made, hoover the rooms, um, clean the annex up, which is where I think Ryan's dad and Sarah will be staying, I'm not sure. So yeah, it's just a day of kind of like organisation, food shopping's coming, clearing up, tidying up, probably a little bit of gardening, um, and I thought I'd bring you along. So expect a few time lapses. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's not all pretty drone shots, sometimes it's the boring stuff that you guys have to do at home too. But it's exciting, we've got his family coming down from Newcastle, so yeah, I'm really excited to see them because we haven't seen them in possibly two years, which is insane. I'm also not sure if you could see this in shot in that shot there, but I don't know if you can see that mark on our ceiling. A few days ago, we had a lo massive leak of water coming through the ceiling, which actually it turns out that the bathroom in the attic's tap wasn't attached to its pipe properly. I think that's noise, it's my mum playing with Gina and Wilma. <laughs> so sorry about that. But yeah, uh, in case you wondered what that was, it was pretty insane, but it's all sorted now. <laughs> I want to apologise for this red nose here. Um, I get really bad allergies, like from dust. I'm allergic to like cats, um, quite a lot of animals. That's the reason why we got a Labradoodle, because Juno is hypoallergenic. Um, but yeah, so like when I hoover or like dust and stuff, my nose gets really itchy. Even though I've taken an allergy tablet because I take one beforehand, they don't really seem to work. I feel a bit like congested now, so sorry about that. And a nice little bit of info for you. There's a few things that I wanted to um, tell you. First of all, how cute is it that we have a Nespresso machine in here? Ignore the drinks down the bottom. Um, someone left the water and then I bought uh, the drinks for my nieces because that's what they drink. Um, so what was I gonna say? Oh yes, we've got a cutest fridge that we've now put in our, in our annex kitchen. There isn't actually a kitchen here yet, we still haven't got that fitted, but we have got an old kind of like kitchen counter that was from our utility room that we've put in there for now. So that's what that is, but it won't always be there. It's a Montepella one, so it's like retro-y. Uh, it'll look really nice once we've got our kitchen sorted the way we want it to be. Um, I say our kitchen, the annex kitchen. But yeah, I think it's really, really cute. Obviously it doesn't go with this kitchen unit, but hopefully it will look pretty when, when it's all done the way we'd like it to. So I'm now in the bedroom of the annex and um, I wanted to tell you something. I'm currently making the bed. Um, I wanted to tell you something while I remember, which is very, very exciting. I've been working with Scope. Some of you guys might have seen some of the work I've done. I've created some Instagram stickers for their new campaign, which are here. One of my favorite things that I get to do as a job. Honestly, I enjoy it so, so much. I think it's because I really enjoyed the journey of learning a new skill and then getting paid for it, which I know I did with YouTube and presenting and everything in between. But I think it was because it was done over lockdown. It means so much to me. Um, and the pandemic, it was literally done in that time. So yeah, so this year um, I was contacted by Scope and to see if I'd like to work on the new campaign to create these stickers, which you can use on Instagram stories by searching in the sticker search engine slash Giphy search engine. Uh, you can search Scope and you can see them there. But the whole campaign is about donating a piece of clothing that you love to their shops um, for someone else to get, you know, something that has a memory, carrying your wardrobe out. We all know that charity shops have um, really suffered with donations over the past year. So Scope asked me to be part of their new campaign, hashtag share the scope. 
um, where they asked me to donate a piece of clothing or a few pieces of clothing that I really love but that I don't probably wear as much as I should wear um, and share the story online. And I've asked you guys on Instagram if you could help me choose the items of clothing um, and some of you guys have so thank you but I'm always willing to donate some more clothing if people are interested. Uh, I really love my clothes so yeah I'd like them to go to a good home. And another thing that's very very exciting about being part of this campaign is my face is on the front of some of their charity shops. Like someone sent me this picture here and I thought that was very exciting. I am yet to go to a charity shop myself because this all happened so quickly um, but I can't wait to. So if any of you guys see me send me a photo please, much appreciated. Who's that? It's Ryan! I was just talking to the camera. Oh. Are you putting a mirror up? I've already done it. Oh. <sighs> Why have you got a, what are you doing yeah, now? Let's do the veg beds and the polytunnel. <gasps> We're doing veg beds in the polytunnel? You, I don't know if you can tell, but allergies have hit an all time high after all that hoovering and stuff and um, with all the dust and stuff. So I think I'm gonna sign off now. It's like dinner time or close to, it's like, it's like dinner time or something anyway. Oh no, Wilma! How did you just see that? As soon as I started vlogging next to it, she jumps off the sofa. These are our new sofas, by the way. Um, can you see them here? They're from Loaf. Very exciting. Um, anyway, <laughs> this room is not decorated either. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog little bit more cash um but i enjoyed filming it hope you enjoyed watching it and i'll see you soon bye